Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk to you about windward leeward rule. So nice and simply then we're going to start off with our winds coming from the top, as we can see, and we've got two boats, our boat A and boat B. Now just to be, to be clear, so boat A is the boat closest to the wind, so they are the windward boat, whereas boat B is the leeward boat because they are furthest away from the wind. This means that B has to get, B has priority on A, which means that B can head up or push the tiller away from them, which will mean they start to steer into A and they can push them upwind. This means that um, they can basically have what we call luffing rights, which means they can hold them head to wind. They can only hold them at head to wind from there. And then if we go to another situation, we can go with the two boats and we call this in, there's still the leeward boat as B, A is still the windward boat, but the difference is, is that they're still overlapped because B is still in front of A's stern. So the stern is the back of the boat and that means they still count as the windward leeward rule when they're on the same tack. If let's say the boats are going downwind, so we've got our two boats going downwind. As, as beginners, we're sailing uh, no more than a broad reach or a training run. Remember, we don't want to sail straight downwind. If we sail straight downwind, we're going to end up capsizing. Remember, we sail on a training run or broad reach, and it's going to be the same. B is the leeward boat, A is the windward boat, and B can head up A which means A needs to keep clear. The only difference that would change is if there was, if they were approaching a leeward mark, so at the bottom of the course, the downwind leg, the mark, then they could, they'd have to go round it, and uh, the three boat length circle would apply, but that doesn't imply, and we'll talk about that in a future video. Thank you very much for listening, and uh, we will see you next time.